It's not always discussed how much of a difference a surface can make to your performance and experience of a run or a race. Synthetic tracks, to grass, to mud, to snow, to road surfaces. But I'd heard rumour of a 5k in southern England that incorporated quite a unique feature. And each week an array of runners from around the UK would visit Seaton in Devon to test their legs on its soul-sucking surface. I happened to be in the area in late December, and so to kick off Christmas Day I felt it would be a good opportunity to try it for myself, which would lead nicely into the Christmas tradition of running into the freezing cold sea, as you'll witness at the end of this video. But standing on the pebble start line that morning, I wasn't sure what I got myself into. An early dark Christmas morning saw us pass a man dressed as Santa. Arriving at the seafront to warm up, volunteers were having a briefing, including an elf, a Christmas tree, and the tail walker actually having a tail. Good morning from Seaton Park Run in Devon, England. It is Christmas Day 2021, and this is a park run with a difference. It begins and ends on pebbles, which is going to be very interesting for the legs. Here we just had the most marvellous introduction from a marshal. I thought I wouldn't be recognised like this. He said, ah, morning, Mr. Jogon. Welcome to Seaton Park Run. It was a fantastically smooth intro. And he said, we're a park run with a bit of a difference. Just coming up to the turnaround point, beautiful cliffs in the distance. It's going to be an odd blend of rapid, fast, flat road surface. And then pebbles, having just tested them out, it's going to be like running on custard. I hate to disappoint, but unfortunately, the elf hat is going to need to come off for when I start, because even just warming up, my head already is starting to heat up. Oh my word, three dinosaurs and a penguin. Could it get any weird? <laughs> Christmas Day. You gotta make it special, haven't you? With Father Christmases to the left and reindeer to the right, even a dog was in the spirit. Time for the hat to come off. Give it to Father Elf. <laughs> oh my word, there's a penguin. The penguin, a man in a turkey hat, and the dinosaurs bracing against the Devonshire Gus made their way to the start, where those who had chosen to begin Christmas Day in this way were congregating. After the briefing on firm concrete, we were encouraged onto the pebble beach where pace signs indicated where to stand. Yeah. Sub 20 at my current fitness was probably a little optimistic for this terrain, but you never know. Surreal as this was, it was happening. An announcement went out because someone had dropped their barcode. Christmas-style Harry Potter joined us. I felt the pebbles beneath my shoes and checked that the watch was zeroed. I'd brought athlete GB Louise with me for this one, who'd seen the female course record for Seton was 17 minutes and 31 seconds. A tough ask in winter on pebbles, and to top it off, she decided to run in Disney Frozen-themed pyjamas. We learnt when we turned up that the female course record holder was in fact there that morning, and, taking it more seriously, she wasn't wearing her pyjamas. Could GB Louise take her on? She has a gift bestowed from the heavens, so yes, she probably could. Okay, I think we're all ready. With two elite females standing just inches from each other, the countdown began. Three, two, one, go! Here we go! <laughs> Charging across the beach to the sound of a million pebbles, we were off. Oh, oh blimey! To my relief, the first section of pebbles turned into a concrete slope. Relief to be off of that. Sky Louis! Christmas Day 2021, this is Seaton Park Run. Cool. That initial pebble dash really gets the blood pumping. Flying back up towards me were the three leaders. On go. Followed by the female course record holder, who had already separated from pyjama clad Louise. Nice Louise, settle in, relax, enjoy. Cheers Marshall. Around we go. I'm back up into a bit of a headwind, and my tinsel steadily choking me. Up at the front, first and second positions were cruising past. The female course record holder battling headwinds and Louise giving chase just behind a man called Joel, who I'd later find out was a jog on viewer. Oh God. Hey, man, how you doing? Clearly an excellent runner, Christmas style Harry Potter was looking strong. Spectacular scenes. When I'm penguin and dinosaurs, what a way to celebrate Christmas. When I'm present, in case you don't know where to go. Thank you, Marshall. Merry Christmas. Just in front of me was a runner who'd also gone for my tinsel look. And a couple of years later, I came past pursued by a casual snowman. Go on, Harry, well done! Christmas tree. Woo. First kilometer was a 3.57. Cheers, Marshall. Merry Christmas! And then Louise appeared, having overtaken the female course record holder. Beautiful, Louise! You've got that! Stick on him! About 10 meters on her! Let's go, Louise! Lovely! Come on, guys. A man dressed in a full Santa outfit was running incredibly well. Wow. It was back onto pebbles. Oh, tinsel. Oh, Lord. Here we go again. Thank you very much, Marshall. 
That surface is awful. Hi right, guys, so I'm quick running along here to come back down, approaching two kilometers. First place was getting nearer to three, crossing paths with the present who was staying consistent with her pace. GB Louise and Jogon Joel were working together at a brilliant speed along the seafront. Well done, Louise! Well done, Keep running, going, running, Louise! Running, Louise all the way. She's had her. She's had her. <laughs> As the masses appeared in front of me, the gaps were getting narrow. Oh, a bit of a tight squeeze here. Woo! Close one. Merry Christmas all. The second kilometre ticked over in a much calmer 416. Heading back down this direction, I watched the footing on the very edge, trying to drop off on a penguin. Well done, Christmas present. Not the most streamlined of outfits, but it's about getting in the spirit. Giant candy canes, love it. Not even sure if they're running it. Now, somewhat on my own, I approach the halfway point. Thank you very much. Coming through lap one. Dinosaurs over to the right, being followed by an elf. Thank you. Volunteer Christmas tree just in front as first place comes through. Well done, sir. Somewhere a long way back, the dinosaurs were pushing on in what must have felt like horrendous conditions. I was still impressed by the man in full costume ahead of me. Well done, Father Christmas. So how are you going that fast? GB Louise and Jogon Joel were flying now. Go on, Louise. Keep going. Fellow tinsel man there just crossing. As we come, the hairpin bend turn around the cone. Cheers, Marshall. Whoop. Oh, it's fun putting the brakes on, Nat. I don't. Trying not to let the tinsel wrap my neck up, <laughs> I had found something of a rhythm. Just being slightly choked by this tinsel. <laughs> well done, guys. That man had a turkey on his head, but it's not stopping him. Thank you, Marshall. Well done. Well done, all. Marvellous running. The wind's picking up. This Christmas park run was well underway. Reindeer have joined forces. 3.64 kilometres. We're about 15.02 on the watch. Runner's still coming up. Well done, sir. Excellent first place. Flying past. As he's storming it down the front. But then, with the tail walker, Dinosaur. a slight problem. <laughs> Dinosaurs got slightly sidetracked by the wind, I think. What I do, lovely running. Oh, Louise! Beautiful running. Let's go, Louise. Take it home. Come on. Yes, Louise. Superb running. Well done. Well done, guys. How fast is that woman? It's crazy. It really was mad. GB Louise in her pyjamas was just on a different level. After the second lap, the finish would see a ramp down onto, you guessed it, more pebbles, to really finish the legs off and any hope of a sprint finish. Apparently, first place didn't get the memo that it's meant to be difficult on this surface and simply glided his way to the finish line. First place that day was, in fact, the appropriately and superbly named Flurry Grierson. Coming in second was his brother, Gray Grierson. Back on the pebbles. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Marshall. It really was tough at this point. Takes it right out the legs, saps your last energy. Oh man, guessing the legs and the lungs this time. Jog on Joel flew through just ahead of Louise. Go on, Louise! Her finishing time was 17.41, a brilliant result. She'd missed the female course record by just 10 seconds. If she came back on a summer's day in low winds and actual running kit, I have no doubt she'd take the crown with relative ease. What a run. Final stretch, 4.2 on the watch. Well done, present. Going past the anchor leg there. Snowman, Father Christmas is and reindeer. What more could you want? Heading towards the pebble finish line. Receiving and giving encouragement to others, we were into the last section now. 4.73. 20.07 on the watch, not quite a sub 20 today, but we're coming in thick and fast. Father Christmas finished as I approached the ramp. Down onto the pebbles. Louise, that was a superb run. Yes, Louise. Oh, Lord. Back through treacle land. A final painful pebble push. Go on, Harry! Ah! Oh. Okay. Thank you very much. 2040 at Seaton Park Run. Absolutely glorious views. Well hey, man. How are you doing? Uh, I've seen your YouTube page. Thank you very much. Yeah. Appreciate it. Fair, man. Dude, knackered. Yeah. I caught up with Jogon Joel and met the run director. We shared our thoughts on the course, Joel barely looking tired. Well done. First lady. First lady. When did you take the girl? Uh, quite early, wasn't it? Steve came over to see me. Well done, elves. Lovely running. Oh, they could be your family at the moment. Here comes Turkey Hat Man. Finishing strong for Axe Valley Runners. Well done, sir. Well, that was something else. How was it watching it? Brilliant. Yeah, good spectator. Yeah, yeah. You get to see us a bunch of times yeah. as well. I took a photo for some runners and handed in my barcode. Thank you very much. Cheers. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye. <laughs> What a run. 20 minutes and 40 seconds. Not too bad. Would have loved to sub 20, but... It just wasn't to be on that day. Seaton Park Run had delivered an extraordinary 5K experience on Christmas Day, both in the uniqueness of running on pebbles and the plethora of costume commitment from those participating. The likes of Jogon Joel in his Santa hat, GB Louise in pyjamas, and the man in the full Father Christmas outfit had given us an inspiring view of where training and commitment can get you and the ability to balance the fun of running with a competitive element. Thank you to the marshals for their time and efforts to make this event possible.
Just before warming down, I watched a few more finishes. Well done, Penguin. There goes a dinosaur back up and running. Oh, Mrs. Christmas, beautiful. Well done. I think he's sweating a bit. People do marathons in those things. How do they do it? The present is finishing. This run had been tough on the legs, but happy to come away with position 21 at the time of 2040. But it wasn't quite over. And now we arrive in line with Christmas tradition here at the beach to run into the freezing sea. Well, we're here, the boats are lined up and it's absolutely freezing. I think people are gathering to go. I think this is it. Right, here we go. Running into the sea after Mark Run. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh, it hurts the feet. Oh, it's freezing cold! Oh, good to see! Oh. Ah. Merry Christmas! I'm Harry Morgan, go for that run! Jump to the sea! Maybe on pebbles, maybe not! And this is Jogon! 